Good morning. Um, I'm Captain Turner. I'm the station commander here at Engine 45. Um, our fire station is um, beginning a, a new renovation process uh, through coordination with Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake and the Maryland National Guard. Um, our firehouse was built in 1951, and um, as with time, it needs some renovations. Uh, and to, to embark on this program, uh, this is just an outstanding effort between the National Guard and the fire department uh, for, for us to undertake. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody, first of all, for being here. Uh, also for everyone who has uh, participated somewhere, somehow, in uh, planning for this uh, renovation to happen. Um, at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Deputy Chief Mark Wagner uh, for some words. Chief? Assistant Chief Seagull. Oh, Chief Seagull's going pick. I'm sorry. Okay. While filling for, for Chief Wagner, uh, thank you, Captain Turner, for the introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Assistant Chief uh, Jeffrey Siegel, and I am uh, speaking on behalf of Chief Clack. He cannot be here today. Um, on behalf of Chief Clack and all the members of Baltimore City Fire Department, we want to thank uh, the National Guard as well as everyone else who've had uh, share in this project here uh, at Engine 45. And we want to thank everybody else for being here and coming and supporting this effort. Uh, we're grateful for uh, Mayor Rawlings Blake and the National Guard, as we said, uh, as far as their commitment to public safety. Uh, and the uh, welfare of our firefighters here in this station in Baltimore City. Uh, life in a station uh, revolves around the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is a location where uh, it helps our members to rehab mentally, rehab physically. Um, in the station uh, kitchen, what happens normally uh, after a stressful day, uh, the members come up to the kitchen uh, they support each other, they have peer support, uh, they're able to critique each other, and, and basically what it is, it's a haven, the kitchen, uh, just like in an uh, individual's home, it's a haven. Well, even in a firehouse, it's a haven for our firefighters and paramedics uh, to get the support uh, that they need to be able to deliver uh, public safety. So we thank all for uh, helping us out in this area. But we also want to make sure that we give a special thanks to the 244th Engineer Company, uh, as well as all the others, uh, our Director of Logistics, uh, Ms. Eckert, for her assistance here, and uh, for their commitment to the Baltimore City Fire Department. So we want to thank all. So it's my uh, sincere honor uh, to introduce the Mayor of Baltimore City, Mayor Stephanie Rowland Blake. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Deputy uh, Chief, I'm very uh, pleased to have you with us today, giving remarks on behalf of Chief Clack, and thank you for the kind introduction. It's wonderful to join you all at Engine 45 to see the improvements made to the station house by the 244th Engineer Company. We're also joined by the City Council President, Jack Young. Thank you for being here. For those of you who don't know, he knows his way around the kitchen, so it's no surprise that he's here on several, several levels to be supportive, as well as uh, your councilwoman, the dean of the city council, Councilman Ricky Spector. Thank you. Here. As well as Steve Sharkey, director of Department of General Services. So it's an honor for me to join General Peter Hens, who will speak in a moment. Today's visit celebrates the start of a wonderful partnership between the Maryland National Guard and the Baltimore City Fire Department. Months ago, I spoke to General Atkins about the state of some of our fire stations. In addition to having the oldest roads, the oldest water mains and schools in the state, we also have some of the oldest fire stations. Nine of our fire stations are over 100 years old. As you know, Engine 45, which was built in 1951, is in need of repair. General Atkins told me that by developing a partnership like this, we could create progress for everyone. The Maryland National Guard has engineered units deployed throughout the world, supporting our troops and nations recovering from war and oppression. 
The men and women who are working on this project will soon be deployed to Afghanistan to help build facilities for the Afghan army. But before they go, they need to train. Working here in Engine 45 gives the 244 en engineer company an opportunity to train together uh, before they deploy. It's a win-win situation. Soon we will get a brief, a brief tour of the progress that they have already made, and I look forward to celebrating future projects that will improve the conditions of our firefighters and improve conditions for our firefighters and for our paramedics. Our fire uh, stations play an important role in our community. They make Baltimore's neighborhoods safer and they also make them stronger. And for almost 60 years, Engine 45 has hosted an annual holiday train garden. It draws people from as far away as North Carolina and New York to enjoy Baltimore's unique tradition. Engine 45 is an anchor in this community and we must be creative to ensure that this and other stations can be comfortable as a home for their members and a beacon of stability and safety for our residents. Uh, what Chief Siegel said was correct. You know, this is a place, it's a sanctuary, it's a place where, uh, you know, after the end of a, a long day, our uh, men and women in the Baltimore City uh, fire, uh, fire Department can uh, sit together, relax, and also recharge. And, uh, you know, this is not the first uh, time that we've looked for creative ways to enhance the conditions of the fire stations. As council uh, president, I, I know that the council members remember, I instituted a Genie in July program where we, we asked each station for a list of things that they needed to help um, to improve the quality of life for their stations, and we got a lot of support. But I think something like this, where we get people who have the skills uh, and the talent to really uh, help the firefighters who, you know, would do it themselves. You know, I say all the time, you know, while some departments aren't, the, their uh, work ethic is not the same as all, you know, across the, the city in a sense that firefighters, you know, they'll duct tape it together, you know, they'll glue it together and just keep working. And to have the support of the National Guard in such a critical way uh, to help enhance the quality of life, make it easier for them to get back out and do their jobs, it's just a wonderful partnership and I'm really pleased. I know that uh, Delegate Rosenberg, who couldn't be here with us today, helped us secure a grant to overhaul the electrical wiring that is much needed. This will support the modern appliances and computer equipment in the station, as well as the trains for the holiday show. Again, I want to thank the National Guard and the 244 Engin Engineer Company and the Fire Department, Department of General Services, for making a blueprint to show outside agencies how they can support our efforts to renovate every station in our city. So now it is my honor to introduce General um, Peter Hens, I'm hoping I'm getting that right, uh, to talk about the partnership. General? Peter, thank you very much. We're very proud of our partnership with Baltimore, as we are with all the communities across Maryland. And as you, you should know that the, the National Guard traces its lineage before the Revolutionary War, we are the ultimate we are the ultimate community-based organization. We have two missions. We have a federal mission to go abroad and defend the nation and uh, a state mission to uh, serve here uh, in Maryland. And the 244th engineers are doing that even as we speak. Here they are working in the firehouse uh, at, in a community project while they're training and preparing to deploy to Afghanistan to defend our nation abroad. So this is an excellent opportunity for the 244th to hone their skills at the individual and squad level to do construction, the kind of work they'll do in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, while they're working to, again, uh, solidify and improve our relations with communities across the state of Maryland. So we're very happy and very proud that we could be here and help out uh, with the firehouse. And again, it's a great partnership for, the, uh, for this project, not just during snows and during hurricanes. We're happy that we could be here uh, during a non-emergency time and help improve the, the uh, conditions of the firehouse. So again, my hat's off to both the 244th and Company 45. Thank you. Before we start the, the brief tour, I would like to offer the council president an opportunity to make re remarks. We could not uh, get the support that, we, that, that I've had in promoting public safety without the partnership between the council. I would love to have him come give words. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank 244th um, uh, engineers for 
being here and for helping to make this a wonderful place for our firefighters. And um, over there did the hard work. okay, <laughs> well, anyway, I just want to thank you all. You deserve a round of applause <laughs> because I know firsthand what the fire department can do with a great new kitchen because they can cook some real good meals. But um, I just want to just thank all the partners, general services, everybody who helped to make this um, wonderful, wonderful renovation project a success. I understand that this gentleman here led the crew. Is that true? No? no? Uh, okay, they, uh, they told me you at first. But anyway, um, thanks again. And Madam Mayor, thank you for forming the partnership with the general. And uh, we look forward to you all helping us do many more firehouses. So again, thank you. Any, any questions about the fire station before we get started on the tour?